Advanced Viewing with IIIF IIIF is a protocol and an infrastructure that enables the advanced viewing and sharing of images across the Internet. IIIF stands for International Image Interoperability Framework. One of the IIIF consortium partners is Leiden University Libraries. Its repository, Digital Collections, contains thousands of items with IIIF manifests. The IIIF functionality is easily recognized by its blue and red logo. Clicking on the IIIF button takes you to the Advanced Viewer. The default view is called Image View. You can browse from opening to opening in Monstrelet's medieval chronicle of the Hundred Years' War. Alternatively, click on a thumbnail in the film strip below. Use the icon in the top right corner of your screen to change the view type. The gallery view helps you to quickly explore the openings or pages of a book. Click on a thumbnail to go back to the image view. The three white dots can hide or unhide the film strip. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Reposition the image on your screen by clicking and dragging with your mouse. Alternatively, you can use the icons in the bottom right corner of your screen. The home icon in the center restores the default view. The Advanced Viewer also allows you to manipulate the image. By default, these functions are hidden. Use the icon in the top left corner of the screen to unhide the functions. You can rotate the image clockwise or counterclockwise, adjust the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, that is the brilliance and intensity of colors. You can toggle a grayscale view, invert the colors, and mirror the image. You can also combine these effects. Undo them all by clicking the last icon in the row. Click the icon in the top right corner of your screen to reveal the metadata of the object. Selecting and combining images in two or more visible slots. With the advanced viewer, you can select and combine multiple images in two or more visible slots. In this way, you can compare different images of the same digital item, of different digital items altogether, and even of items from other databases with triple IF functionality. This digital item shows a city map of Samarang on Java, published in 1914. Open the Advanced Viewer on the right-hand side. Click on the four squares icon in the top left corner of the screen and add a second slot to the right of the current image. Now, return to the item description in Digital Collections and place your cursor on the triple IF button. Click and drag the button into the window of the Advanced Viewer and drop it in the second slot. This lets you use two versions of the same image. You can zoom in on details while keeping the overview. It is also possible to select a second map of Samarang published in 1946 and compare it with the 1914 version. Change the layout of the viewer and add up to 25 slots. It is also possible to compare items from different databases, as long as they are triple IF compliant. Take for example the Biblissima website. Search for the Monstrelet manuscript kept in Chantilly and compare it with the manuscript that is kept in Leiden. Drag and drop the triple IF logo of the Chantilly manuscript in the advanced viewer of Leiden's digital collections. Use the gallery view and the zoom function to select and position the images of the two items. A 
Enjoy your triple IF experience.